In this video, we will look at restricting virtual machines in VMware Workstation 10. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 2058671. To add restrictions to a virtual machine, ensure that the virtual machine is powered off. Ensure that the appropriate virtual machine is selected and click VM Settings. Click the Options tab, click Access Control, click Encrypt. Enter the encryption password when prompted. This password is required to use a virtual machine and should be provided to the end user of the virtual machine. Click Encrypt. The encryption process will now start. The time taken to encrypt depends on the size of the virtual machine. Once the virtual machine has been encrypted, you can enable restrictions. Click Enable Restrictions and set the Restrictions Password. The Restrictions Password is required to make restriction changes to the virtual machine. This password should be documented with the administrator and not made available to the end user. Select the Require the user to change the encryption password option if you want the end user to change the password when the virtual machine is moved or copied. Select the Allow USB devices to be connected to this virtual machine option if you want the end user to connect USB devices present on the host machine. You can also set an expiration date for the virtual machine by selecting the Expire the virtual machine after option and setting a date and time for the expiration. This feature enables an administrator to create virtual machines that can be shared with other users that will run until the set date and time. This advanced option allows you to change the message that displays when the virtual machine has expired, add a message that displays when the virtual machine is about to expire, you can also change the time when the message is displayed. Change the restrictions management server. The default server is a VMware time server. You can change this to any server that supports HTTPS protocol. Change the server contact frequency to verify the time. And change the maximum time the virtual machine can be used offline without any contact to the restrictions management server. Click OK. The virtual machine is now encrypted and restricted. This concludes our look at restricting virtual machines in VMware Workstation 10. For additional tutorial videos, be sure to subscribe to our KB TV YouTube channel and our KB blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.